Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Friday, January 26, 2024. Happy Friday, everyone. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You've seen here throughout the week a very modest amount of action here this week. Uh, price kind of holding in a holding pattern here at the highs, building a range, staying mostly within the Wednesday high low. Uh, especially that afternoon sell-off there, finding that pivot high and low. And we've stayed within those ranges here. Ahead of next week's uh, big FOMC statement and interest rate decision next Wednesday, we get another FOMC key level similar to the one we have here. And that's going to give us our, our next set of, uh, of moves here off that level. Right now, kind of building into that level, holding above... Uh, last year's highs, putting some separation and distance between the breakout point and where we are, and still seeing a very bullish overall trend uh, ahead. Again, not really running away through the highs, but uh, providing enough of a cushion here that if we do pull back into the previous year's high and, uh, and get a retest here, that could provide an opportunity for bulls to continue to defend until proven otherwise. A failure here, you rotate back down toward 4,700 for a big retest. And even then, it could be an opportunity to snap it back higher. So right now, very bullish overall. But one thing we are seeing is the ability to go down a bit easier now. So off of this Wednesday high, prices did sell off for three consecutive hours. And we just haven't seen that kind of weakness here over the last week. So we're starting to see a little bit of weakness come in and some two-way trade over the last couple of days. Right now, double inside day developing, which means today's high and low is inside yesterday's high and low. Yesterday's high and low is inside the Wednesday range. Double inside day, upward bias. This is kind of an energy building phase at the moment. We could continue to see back and forth price action today, but not anticipating a full-on breakout. Uh, ahead of next week's range uh, or next week's Fed. We may see some movement down within the range, but again, this is the range right now until proven otherwise. And the idea is to fade the edges uh, until we see that expansion opportunity. At some point here, we'll see that next move materialize. Now, one thing that we've mentioned before is the 4,800 market structure level, very 4,600 rather, 4,600 market structure structure level very important we've been trading mostly around 48 which is the midpoint of that level and the other side of the market structure is 5,000 so we're working our way toward the 5,000 level that is the next highest one remember the ES trading in about 400 point market structure distributions and ever since taking that gap up it's just held 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 and continuing higher so again even if we pull back here into 4800 that could offer an opportunity to go test 5000 up ahead all right let's take a look here at the NQ if you take a look at the NQ here similar price action as uh, price is it pushed through the previous year's high holding at these highs within range right now a little bit of a failed low developing at the moment which could open up some strength back within the range. Again, not anticipating a full-on breakout from the range here. The range is what it is, 17.4 to about 17.8 for the week. That's the range, narrow-ish range here for the week as it builds ahead of next week's Fed. Um, the last two Fed meetings have led to major, major strength. You'll notice here the 11.1 FOMC key level right here was taken straight bid, and we rallied. And then here, the 12.13 FOMC key level was taken bid. The retest also bid. So very important number coming up. We'll see how the market responds to that. But until then, we could be a bit more range bound here, uh, building energy here ahead of that event. Still uptrending right now in any pullback. Again, 17.2, 17.150 could still be a buying opportunity until proven otherwise as this market looks to stretch toward 18K. 18K is a short-term target based off of a key range that's developed. So you'll notice this impulse sell-off here, bounce back to the mid, it's given us this key range. The breakout through the high has given us the 50% extension. The 100% extension is still ahead at 18K. We could go snag that level as well. Looking at crude oil. Crude with a big breakout day in the previous session, finally, through the 76 level. 
it's been a slow breakout phase for crude oil, crude oil here. You see the failed new low a few well, last week uh, has led to a nice continuation up. Over seven days, it's gone seven points. So from 70 half to 77 half. Um, not the biggest move, but a very steady continuation to the upside. You can see the eight period average rising above the 21.34 and now approaching the 55 here. That day right there closed beyond the 55 for the first time in a good long while and that changes the longer term bias of this chart. Now if you look at this impulse move here, impulse sell off back to the mid, that's our key range. That key range right now after sitting in the middle portion of that key range for a long while here has built up quite a bit of energy and at the very least we're looking for a move to the edge. That's 7960. Uh, so 7960 still ahead. 79s here also the previous year's midpoint so a nice bit of confluence there if we can break through that area it starts to open up the upside targets here of the key range which puts you into the 88 half level and then again 91 half 91 half would be the full-on 100 percent extension if we can break through the top of this key range so right now working our way towards 79.60 a break through that level starts to open up the upside quite a bit uh, now, any pullback could still provide a buying opportunity here. If we get a flash move down to, say, 75s, 75s could still be a buy the dip for a continuation up until proven otherwise. Uh, looking at gold futures, a bit of a gap up for gold today. After a strong rejection at the previous week's low yesterday on uh, pre-market data, that strong low here uh, led to that low being sealed off and kind of held the day gapping up here into the 2040s now and continuing to remain um, in the in the center portion of the overall key range here this large key range and it's just kind of been in this zone we know this is kind of a weak downtrend that's been playing out uh, keeping an eye on 2040 here as this market opens the day do we get a gap fill down or is this an indication that we're going to come back and retest the 2070 level uh, again, 2070 is right at the center of the key range. And we have yet to reach one of the edges of the key range. This was considered a very strong high, day one high, a week one high. And if that's the case, you're likely not coming back to that level for a good long while. So any pullback could still be generally an opportunity for bears to defend as we at some point look to attack the lower level of that key range right now sitting right at 2040 uh, range bound day right now after the uh, the after hours gap up and uh, today could be mostly digestive after that gap looking at the YM YM marginally down at the moment uh, just kind of in the range this is about as narrow a range as we've seen in a good long while, but we've seen similar narrow ranges last fall, especially in Q4 during the massive rally. Uh, this is a very similar key or, uh, nar narrow range right here, five-day narrow range. So if we bring this up to five days right now, it's a developing five days because today's not finished yet. But here it is right there, currently 391 points. That's half of what would be average, and it's still very compressed overall. This market has gone through these rhythms where you've seen the move, you've seen the compression, the move, compression, the move, compression, etc. And now after a thousand point rally here in three days, we've gone virtually flat for five days. And so this compression right here could open up uh, the next big breakout move up ahead. It could be next week. Again, on Fed, we have the two-day Federal Open Market Committee meetings Tuesday, Wednesday with the statement on Wednesday, the rate decision Wednesday, and the press conference that follows. So we could have some quiet price action here early next week, followed by uh, quite a bit of volatility Wednesday afternoon, Thursday, and into Friday. So right now, Friday NFP report will be next week as well. So we have a compression here. Uh, look to fade the edges. Still an upward bias as this market continues to show quite a bit of strength here. If there is a, a failure to hold the bottom end of the range at some point and we fail, uh, this expanding range could continue to develop, which means a swing move down, followed by perhaps another swing move up. 
So right now, building that energy, look to fade the edges until proven otherwise. All right, that'll do it here for the week. Happy Friday. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.